Hello guys, let's now talk about the joints of the lower limb. Remember that we are seeing the overview. Now what overview does is that it gives you the basis. Are you seeing that? So, so that you should also know where we are going to. It gives you the word, the basis. Overview, this will be our word, lesson four. Now, the joints of the lower limb include, let's start from the first one. The first what one, are the bits? A complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all. They are available in the Learn Lift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type Learn Lift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. Now the first one we have to call the word the sacroiliac joint. What I call it sacroiliac joint from the word sacrum and ilium. So the point where sacrum and ilium meet is called the sacroiliac joint. Number two is to call the word the agent. Of course, the agent is formed when the head of the femur fits into the word the acetabulum. We're going to talk about that. So this, we have the word the angel. We are listing the joints of the lower limb. The next joint is to call the word the knee joint. What forms the knee joint? The knee joint is formed by three bones, right? We said it is formed by the distal part of the femur, the upper part of the tibia, and the patella bone, which is the largest simoid bone. What is the largest simoid bone? Patella, right? So that's the word the knee joint. The next one to call the word the proximal tibiofibular joint. Look at the word proximal means up or above or close. And proximal what tibia and fibula. So the proximal tibiofibular joint. We also have the distal tibiofibular. Distal means down. So the distal fibul the tibiofibular word joint. We also have to call the word the ankle joint. What form the ankle joint? The ankle joint is formed by myeloid of um, your tibia as well as your fibula. As well as your what your talus bone, right? And we have what to call the what the joints of the foot. This one's the appendix. Now let's just look at the number that this class is so value. So this is sacroiliac joint. It is from this is the sacrum, right? This is the sacrum and this is the ilium. We have both of them meet, it's called the what the sacroiliac joint. Are you seeing that? So take note that we have sacroiliac joint. We are listing the joints of the lower limb. The next joint we're going to talk about is what we call the what the hip joint. This is from where the head of the femur fits into the what they are set up along. Now we said that the commonest point of fracture is the neck, which is this region. You can see the neck of the word femur. This is the hip joint. So we talk about the next joint, which is the word the knee joint, right? The knee joint is formed by this is the knee joint. What from the knee joint? This is the tibia. It's, sorry, this is the, the uh, distal part of the femur. This is the upper part of the tibia, and this is the word patella bone. We talk about that, right? Patella is the largest stomach bone. I'll say it again. Now, let's now see the word the tibiofibular joint. There are two. We have the distal and we have the proximal. This one is the distal. It is formed by, proximal means up. It is formed by your tibia and your fibula. This is tibia, the thick one. This is fibula, the thin one. So tibia or fibula, it's called the word the proximal tibiofibular. Uh, this one is called the word the distal. You can see both of them are meaty. Do you understand that? The next joint is what we're going to talk about, the word the ankle joint. Talk about what's forming the ankle joint. This is the ankle joint. It is formed by... The talus bone of the foot by the tibia bone as well as some part of the word the tibia bone as some part of the word fibula word but three of them fibula bone tibia bone and the word the talus the malolia right we'll talk about the malolia now the next one talk about the joints of the foot very quickly when it comes to creating accounts how do you create an account very easy let me give you the steps first and foremost you see create account and login you only log in right when you already have an account since you don't have an account click click on create account when you get there put in your phone number put in your phone number after putting in your phone number you click on continue right your first name of course you put in your first name there if your first name is james you put in james as your first name your last name if your last name is victor you put in what victor as your last name then you come to email address right Put in your email address there very quickly. James112 at gmail.com at gmail.com Then your password, right? Oh yes. Those of you that like, if you want to use your name, your password can just be like six digits, right? Oh yes. So let me say James12. James12 as the password, right? Fill everything accurately and correctly. James 12. Don't jump any stage. If not, your account is not going to open for you. Select education. Under select education, of course, university. You click university. Leave secondary, primary, 
leave the orders, click university or tertiary, click it. Come to select level. On that select level, you go and select your level. If it's 100 level, 200 level, of course, all these are the university classes. Click on 200 level and click on create account. Once you click on create account, what will happen? Your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class easy and direct. So you see it. This is how you create your account. And then from here, you can see that you have your anatomy here, your upper limb, your lower limb, separately embryology, histology, systemic anatomy. Those ones are for nursing. Your CVS, cardiovascular system, your blood physiology, excitable tissues, systemic physiology, intro to biochemistry, your bowel molecules, BCM for nursing, nursing psychology. You have access to every single Latin in the app. Now, let me see what is in the app. Let's say, for example, upper limb. You click on the upper limb, right? You can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you. Overview of the upper limb, pectoral region, arm region, forearm, hand, all of them, part by part. When I click on the overview of the upper limb, of course, I'll just match it straight to my class. Parts of the upper limb, one part of the upper limb, two bone of, bones of the upper limb, joints of the upper limb, muscles. You see, all your classes are there for you, right? Okay, let me say I want to start now, and then I want to watch joints of the upper limb. All you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch, joints of the upper limb, and what will happen? Your class will load, and your classes will start playing for you immediately. Sure, you see. You may choose to say, okay, I want to rotate it, right? Oh, yes, rotate it. And you start following your classes immediately, easy and direct. You may choose to say, okay, you want to forward, you want to pause, you want to back and um, back forward, any way you want to do. And you take it forward and what happened, you can see all of them very, very easy. And the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class. Are you with me? So that's for that. And you may choose to go back and then go to the notes section of the app. Oh, yes. When you get to the notes section of the app, of course, the notes are there. Mm -hmm. Well organized and arranged for you. And you can zoom in and then start following back to back. And you are following. You may even choose to go and start answering questions. Questions are there for you. And there are answers. You start um, following through every singular facet of it. And you are learning on your own. And there is... CPT in the app as well for you, a lot of other aspects that you can follow up. All of this in the LearnLift app. Same way you have for anatomy, that's how you have for physiology, that's how you have for biochemistry. Are you getting it now? For the now, bye-bye. Now, what are the joints of the food now? Listen to me. Let's just for calm down. These joints are plenty. But let me just show you. Just calm down. First of all, we said the big two is called the allos. It consists of two bones, right? We say, yeah, it's two. Why this one is three, one, two, three. So this three. This is three. You can see that this is three and this is three. If you total them, this is three. If you total them, they are 14. Now, in between these joints, these ones that are, are, are far, they are called the distal phalanx. Why these ones that are close, remember that they are three now. So if they are three, they are going to be two joints. They are three. So there are two joints. This is one, this is two. This one is called distal because it's far. This one is proximal. So we have the distal interphalangeal joint and we have the proximal interphalangeal joint those ones they are found in the phalanges remember that we have 14 phalanges these are 14 14 phalanges so in between the phalanges those are called the interphalangeal -phalang joints interphalangeal joint but we have the ones that are distinct one that are what proximal but in the big toe we have only one joint because it's just two bones so it's called the interphalangeal joint but in the digit, we have the distal interphalangeal joint and the proximal interphalangeal because they are three, three. If they are three bones, they are going to be two joints now. Are you seeing that? Now, this is what we call the 14 phalanges. What are these ones called? These ones are called in this region, are called this, this region. It's what we call the metatarsal. So the joint there, look at it. Between this is, this is metatarsal. This is phalanges. So that joint here is what we call the metatarsal. Tassophalangeal joint. That means meta, meta tassophalangeal. That's meta tassophal. This is meta tassas. This is phalanges. So meta tassophalangeal joint. You can see them. These are these joints you are seeing. And that's this meta tassophalangeal joint. Meta tassophalangeal joint. Phalangea joint. Meta tassophalangeal joint. Now look at it in between, guys. Look at it in between. The metatarsals, these are the metatarsals, 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 metatarsals. In between them, 
is a joint in between them. That joint is called your intermetatarsal joint. Intermetatarsal, intermetatarsal. Have you seen that? Intermetatarsal. We're still going to talk about that while we're just doing overview. Intermetatarsal joint. Now, between the metatarsals, these are the metatarsals. These ones are called the tarsals. Between the metatarsals and the tarsals is another joint. That joint is called the tarsal metatarsal joint. Tarsal metatarsal. These ones are the phalanges. Phalanges. They have their joints. Right? These ones are the metatarsals. These are the tarsals. So that joint is called the word inter. Look at it from the word you will know. Tarsal metatarsal. Between the tarsals and the metatarsals. This one is inter metatarsals. Inter means between the metatarsals. Inter. This one is interphalangia. That is between the interphalangia. This one is intertarsal, but this is distal inter. This is distal interphalangia joint, proximal interphalangia joint. This one is the metatarsal phalangia. The word meta talk about metatarsals and phalanges, so it is between metatarsals and phalanges. Why we have what we call the nabi naviculo coniform joint between the navicula and the coniform. We have the talo navicular joint between the talus and the and the navicular joint. We have the nabi cuboda. We have the Calcaneal cuboda joint, cuboid joint, and we have the word the subtalar joint. We're going to talk about this, but we're just giving the overview of these joints. We're not going to talk about the joints of the foot, but just know that this joint what is this. Do you understand that? If you say you understand that, that's everything about the joints of the lower lip. That's all. The only one we have the work is in the foot. We can pause that side and watch it over and over again. But if you're not getting it, just calm down. You're still going to meet it in front. This is overview. So next class, I just to go through the notes. Practice CBT and tell a friend. Only on this overview first, before we talk about um, functions, there are 20 MCQ pass questions. Go through them. Next class, we'll go further to talk about what are the functions of the lower limb. And that is going to be our lesson five. Functions of the lower limb, we'll talk about your functions of the lower limb, the weight bearing point of the lower limb, and how is it distributed. But for now, peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye bye.